you want Oreo? We are privileged to have us uh, the vice president of the Republic. Hey. Again, welcome to this interview. We are privileged to have us the vice president of the Republic of Liberia, Her Excellency Madam Joaha Taylor. The first round of elections are over, and of course, all is over. And the madam is here in your home. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. I want to use this opportunity to say a very big thank you to the people of the The truth is that these elections were very competitive. And there were competing priorities, community to community. Still, by the grace of God and by the love of the people of Hong County, my party, the CDC, is ahead. And I want to thank everybody from the different areas, from the different communities who participated in this election in a free, fair, and transparent way. And that I'm happy that in the end, uh, Bond County came on top because we voted for the future of our country. I want to say thank you to everybody. On like 2017, this time around, the margin is not that wide. And you got a little over 10,000 for difference. I mean, are you satisfied with such results, uh, madam? The fact of the matter is, I think in the first round, there were many competing priorities. Senatorial, representatives, some people were on our party ticket, some people were not. Some people wanted to be, they were not allowed to come. So there were all kinds of things playing. I want to thank God that he has given us a second opportunity where there will be only two choices. And I believe the people of Hong County will stand with their own. Now you, like you said, you're going to the second round. What's the message this time around to the people of Bond County? We saw the votes across the country, how it came and so forth. What's your message? I have two messages. The first one is that Bond County should be like the Southeast. Uh, the Southeasterners actually showed that George we are comes from the Southeast. From county to county. Regardless of the negative propaganda that went into the process, the Southeasterners realized that if Joe Weah remains their president, whatever plans and programs they have will be handled. And so they voted to give their support to their son. And I want Bonkana to do the same thing. It's taking us 170 years to derive a vice president. And people should take their eyes off the fact that I'm sitting in the seat. There could be any son or any daughter of Bonkana. What my appeal would be, let Bonkana vote for his own. We may be looking at many things. I believe the messages coming from Nima have been clear. Those who are running, the message to the people is what? Vote for your own. And I hope Bon County will do the same. That the vice presidency will remain here so that many more opportunities will become available. I will be going throughout the different districts once the actual uh, announcement is made by the election commission that there is a second round in the days uh, because we can't do any campaigning now but the fact is that we're coming back to the county to make a, an appeal that we should look at the benefits that come to one county by hosting the office of the vice presidency we should not throw that away and send it to another county madam vice president in 2005 you was elected 2014 elected by the county in 2017 what makes this election more special for the people of Hong Kong. The thing is, because I'm vice president here, everything that has been done at the national level, some of it has come to Hong Kong. If I were not vice president, or if the vice president had come from Cape Mount, then that would be the Cape Mount's benefit. President Weah has shown that he is the president of the people by the work that has been done. He wasn't a southeastern of in his plans and his programs. He made sure that across the country, whatever was happening, you know, every county got a little bit. So let's leave him out of this configuration. And I know people like to say in Bond County, you know, I saw, uh, uh, I saw a what's up message from someone on Facebook and the gentleman said, oh, y'all got an empty convoy that come in. Thankfully, my work speaks for itself. If I had done no work in Bond County, I would not have been elected twice as senator. 
I would not have been elected a vice president because the ballot votes played a huge role in 2017. So my record is clear of what I have done and what I continue to do, both in my personal capacity, in my capacity as vice president, and in my capacity as heading one of the most effective female NGOs across Liberia. And so for me, the difference in this election is we're making a choice between one county retaining its position as host of the office of the vice president with possibilities for greater things in the future, or one county letting it go and giving it to another county. What's the disadvantage? Of being vice president? Yes, uh, if Bong were to let it go, for example, like you said. Development. Who would, who would lobby for Bong County? Who's going to sit at the highest level and say, let's talk about Bong County? If you talk to President we are he will usually say, Bong County and I like you Because by the time we sit at the table to discuss anything, my first question is, hey, what going to my county? And so you will not have that kind of a high lobbying power for someone who will go beyond just that high table to talking to international people, to talking to friends, to come and do the work that we have to do. Although I know that being a citizen for Bond County doesn't mean my work stays in Bond County. I must also work across the country. But the majority of what I do is here at home. And so I think Bond County, if we lose this opportunity, we lose an opportunity for greater development initiatives. My concern has been drawn to the votes this is the opportunity in Benicole. This is for the sixth time now uh, running. The city has always won uh, Benicole over uh, one million. This going election, they won 96% of the votes. What message do you think the people of Bunkana can get from the votes or the people from Benicole? And it's the same message that the Southeasterners have given that she's our own. What the people from that district realize that when I make a promise, I will do everything to fulfill it. Even if it means I'm going to do it 10 times. The Binicola Clinic is a clear example. Thank God the press was involved day to day about the challenges we face, even after that facility was built. Though my children don't live in Binicola, I could have said, eh, not forget it. I'm not to worry, I'll go somewhere else. But because I made that promise to them, I made sure by the time I got into a position of trust that the funding that was needed to open Binicola was done. So they know I'm somebody they can trust. And that if I say something, even if it's not immediate, because development is never immediate. It takes time, but they trust in my ability to work to make my promises come true. And that's the promise I made to Bond County today, that going into the second round, I want to ask all of you, regardless of what political party you're in, regardless of where you live, regardless of uh, the status that you have, this is about Bond County first. It does make Bon County first. And my promise to you will be the same, that I will work for the people of Bon County more than ever before to ensure that we have a positive legacy, to ensure that the work that is needed to live our developmental agenda for Bon County will be done, but to also make sure that posterity in the future, very near future, will get Bon County in a place that will take us above where we are today. Thank you. What else? I believe you. Let me again say thank you to the media for all of the engagements. You've given me a clear voice. I think over the next couple of weeks, there will be others that we hear because I think the voices have to now be varied. There will be different people coming on, on, on the radio so that people can see their own people in the conversation we're having. But I'm grateful for the access that I've had and I'm grateful for the voice that you've given me. But I also want to say thank you to all of those who voted for us across Bond County. There were about 44,000 registered voters that never voted. And I think that was critical as we look at the analysis. Somehow, for the four in Bong uh, 4, 4, 4, yes. County? Yes. We have, you, you have, we have 200 and what? 37,000 37, registered voters. If you look at how many people actually went to the polls, there's about 44,000 that didn't go to the polls. Well, what are responsible, Madam Well, I'm not going to be bothered about what is responsible. I want to make an appeal to them. Okay. Because. It is now, this election is about Bone County and Nima County. And that's the truth. People of the Nima County descent that will be asking their citizens to vote, to put their citizens in a seat. And people who come from Bone County that will be voting for Bone County to retain the seat of the vice president. And so I want to call on all our citizens, those who voted 
those who did not vote, to make this a personal priority. If you want development, if you want better facilities, you have to allow your children to have a position of trust, a position of influence. And I hope that we go to the second round and we're able to win these elections. What I look forward to is a conversation, district by district, that the development of the districts will be put together and we can have that discussion. What do we do in year one? What do we do in year two? What do we do in year three? So that the bond County citizens and I will have a social compact. We have not had that yet though. And I think this gives us an opportunity for the next five, six years to have that social contract. What do the young people want? After these elections by the grace of God will win, I will have some real serious conversations with the young people, with the different sectors, whether you are teachers, whether you are healthcare workers, what it is that you want, how do you want it? And we can have a contract to ensure that I have a template to work with. And we'll see at the end of six years, if maybe 80% of what we want to do will not be done. That is my promise. Last day, the social media has been uh, inundated with speculations that you are close, uh, Madam Fire President, to convincing us, a senator in there, Johnny Pei, to endorse his BCVC. Has there been any negotiation or people picking the proof of you? What I want to say in this open manner that we are in a process of cons uh, consolidating our base. And I want to take this time to thank Honorable Mwema Menza Briggs. Menza Briggs. Briggs Menza. Briggs Menza. Who has openly declared her full support. Although there were some challenges with the political structure, I want to congratulate her and to thank her for coming up front in an early manner to say, again, her point was, this is about Bon County, and I will make sure I support Bon County. So I want to thank her. We will be reaching out to everyone. We know everyone won't come. Uh, on the and I have a relationship we should know. I will be calling upon him to come and help support us. And we hope that he will look at Bon County. This is about us, not about anyone else. So we'll continue these conversations. And I'm sure by the time the negotiations are complete, we'll have him come and say what he wants. But I will reach out to as many people as I can because we actually need to consolidate our, our votes. Thank you, Madam. It was nice having you. Thank you.